What's up guys, this is Moose from Soul Status coming at you with another vid. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the Fire Red 4s and this is a follow up video to our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and tap on the link. I'm gonna post one in the description below. Basically we're talking about my personal journey in investing in sneakers and particularly what I think about the Fire Red 4. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my money where my mouth is and show you guys what I picked up this week and what I ordered. Let's get right into it. All right, so as you can see, I did pick up quite a few Fire Red 4s. So we have a total of 22 pairs here that I ordered. I wanna say I got five and a half through seven Y in the youth pairs, and then I bought size eight through 13 in men's pairs. I doubled up on sizes that I thought there was a little bit more opportunity in. So for me, that's gonna be the larger sizes, like 13, 12, 11 and a half, and then the smaller sizes. So I've noticed that like when I see other people buying bulk pairs, they mainly stick to smaller pairs and I understand why they do that. But for me, I also like to throw in some big pairs because we notice that a lot of people in our area are athletes that play basketball, football, and a lot of these people tend to have larger feet. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys sell more shoes in bigger sizes, smaller sizes, maybe somewhere in the middle. I mean, as I've stated in a previous video, I do like grade schools in terms of the opportunity, mainly because it has a low cost of entry and then a huge upside in terms of what you can sell it for. So these adult pairs will sell for about the same price as the grade schools, but I do believe grade schools will increase in value faster than the adult pairs. However, in the time it takes me to sell one grade school, I could have sold two or three adult pairs. So for me, it's more about cash flow and total profit and not so much about the amount of money that I invest into a shoe and get out of a shoe. So really, the way that you buy depends on the type of strategy that you have for selling. So if you're the type of person that wants to buy and hold for six months or a year, then maybe buying the grade schools and the small sizes, like let's say eight and a half down to seven, maybe that's what works for you. And do whatever works for you. So for me, my strategy is more about volume and cash flow because I'm looking at compounding profits. I'm not looking at profit on a single item. I'm looking at multiplying items. So maybe the time that you spend holding on to one pair, I've cycled through 100 pairs of the same shoe. So I also have a lot of clients that rely on me to get their shoes. So for me, it's also about making sure that I have enough pairs to service our clients here at Soul Status. I also believe that your strategy depends heavily on what funds you have available to you and how frequently you're selling. So I sell sneakers every single day. You may only sell sneakers once every two months at a show, or you might just hold and sell on stock or go a couple times a year. Do whatever works for you. I'm just explaining what works for us and my strategy when I'm buying these types of pairs. I believe that I made a great investment in these shoes. So that's it guys. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video. Please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe, it really helps the channel grow. Why don't you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think of these shoes, maybe some other shoes that you wanna see me go over and talk about, and I'm out of things to say, so I'll catch you guys in the next one.